Hello, I'm joined by Alan Dowson. I'm behind the camera. I'm joined by Alan Dowson after today's nil-nil draw at Hornchurch. Um, Alan, uh, nil-nil the, the, before the start of the game, we're in second versus third. Nil-nil is a good result, isn't it? I think we put to the top now, didn't it? put to the top. So, um, I thought we were excellent. I really did. I thought we'd done enough to win the game. I did. Um, I, even though we didn't test keep our our keeper didn't get tested. The Nairs didn't. And you're looking where you just trying to break a goal. But a difficult team against a good side, a good club. Good manager, um, one of the promotion favourites, got a good record here. Um, you'll take a point, and I think it's a fantastic point. I really do. I really think it's a good point, and uh, I'm delighted with the performances because we worked ever so hard. Really do. And towards the end of the game, it looks like it looks like both teams were going for the win rather than rather than settling for a point. How much was how much were you? Uh, were defensive versus attack minded on that? Massively, we'll put a forward on, took a forward off. If we went defensively, I would have put a defensive midfield player on or put Riazza on to show things up at the back. But to say anything, I didn't see where we were going to. Uh, we had a better possession, I think, and a better balls in from wide areas um, in the second half would have done well. Um, but we didn't look like scoring and we didn't really look like opening up. So we put Jav on to try to um, open up. So make this for 10 minutes at five minutes at the end. You know, um, it was just a, a poor game for the forwards, but defenders are getting top. But in years to come, in early on in the season, I think we might got done today because you know hard physical side, pitches bobbly. But you know they, they, they play at the strength very well and a good side. So um, with both teams, I think with my teams, that's my second nil nil all season, and um, we don't get many draws. So have a look at the draws column. It's all as ever win or lose because. At the minute, we've kept four clean sheets. We're delighted about that. We want to try to protect that. Um, but another defender in to put pressure on the back four as well. Tom Jelly come in, was excellent at left back today. Uh, for his first game in there. And, um, you know, so I've got to be happy that um, I've done the job well, like, you know. As, uh, as we were, after the final whistle, as we were walking back, uh, the talk amongst a few fans hmm. was that, that um, in seasons gone by, that's a game we would have we would have lost. Is it, is it something that you've been working on particularly, or is it I just about so. time we've that that do, happened? We've been, we've been doing a lot of pattern of play, to getting behind the ball and, and, you know, and working hard for each other. Um, uh, not so many seasons, I think early on the season, we would have got beaten that way. You go to Maidstone and everybody says you play well, get beat 2-0. You go to lower stuff to have five chances, but get beat 2-0. Now, I thought we showed a lot of goods today, but we didn't look like getting beat at all. Maybe it's pushing to say we're going to win the game, but you come away to people like Hornchurch and the top of the table teams and you get points away and you win your home games, you're not your far wrong. Um, I, I just thought that really dug into the and I thought it worked very, very hard. And I'm really pleased for our players and I thought the players put a good shift in. Um, towards the end of the game, uh, you were asked to leave, oh, the, <laughs> leave, the, leave, the, uh, leave the pitch. Um, yeah. Without getting yourself into further trouble, what, what happened there? You started for the game, where we're walking out, and he says, you can't wear blue or black under the what the players wear. And we're saying, yes, you can, because they've got blue, that's what we're playing the colours in. And you wouldn't have known someone got the pitch, and he said, oh, then you can. So the players had to run back in and get enough for something's not right anyway. Now, the lad up front's dived in the corner, which is fine, he's an experienced player, a good player, and he's diving, sort of having a crack at him, to be honest, like, you know, and I said, that's bollocks, that's what I said. So you come running over and all that, you know, and it's a banter and have a crack and all that, you know. I said, I, said, like, I wish we were playing in red, white today and all that, you know, because that's how I'm strip, obviously. And that's how it was, and he sent, I said, you've got to send us off a thing like that. And, well, I don't know if he sent us off, he just sent us behind the stand, but obviously, I'm very honest, it happened against Lewis last year, the year before last, and um, I deserve to get sent off on mouthing off too much, but when it's like that, I just think, what, what is the game coming to? I really do, I thought it was is what he's done, if he is, and... Um, but to get watched by assessors, that's what they do, and you've got to. Do. But I'm just saying, what else am I going to say? It, you know, it was a ridiculous decision. I've complained about it. Everybody in the whole world swearing on the sides, on the pitch, and he comes and drags me. And I just didn't think he was up for the game. That's the honest truth. Uh, like before kick off, like to see, and he sent players back in, changed his mind. Well, for one, what changed his mind? And for two, it's uh, honestly, I mean, as well, jack it in. If it's going to come to that, to be honest, it'd be awful if um, if that's happened or if I get proper sent off of us in the past and we've had a discipline problem down here and we've sorted that out and we've done very very well so the last thing I need to be doing is showing that side of things and if it was fair I would have said listen I've let the team down today and I've done this I've done that I don't think it's um, fair at all I really do it and I just don't think he should have been in charge of the game that's my opinion um, Away from today's game specifically uh, we uh uh, Patson and someone have gone out on uh, loan spells. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, well, uh, Matty's been on and off this season. Matty pa- um, some back where you know he started off the season and got injured and got sent off and missed three games, so he's unfit. So he's got to go away and get games. Pat is the same where he started the season, didn't quite get his form from last season. Um, got a bad injury in training incident just a tackle in training and um, was out for two and a half weeks three weeks. So you can't just come back in and if if the two lads were there here to day, it would be on the bench and. Let's be eggs and eggs. It'll be on the bench next week as well because we've had a good result at the end. All of us. Um, so uh, 
it's it's one of them where I can't keep staying on the bench. Players like, oh god, get them out, get them games. Hopefully, both players will play themselves fitness wise. Hopefully, both players will get some form back, and hopefully, in the 28 days, we'll get them back. It's it's a, but that's what football is like. We don't know what's going to happen, but that's what the plan was, and I hope that's you know. And, and at this point, you still very much consider them to be Kingstonian players. Massively, I, oh yeah, yeah, no, there's no doubt about that at all. But we've got to go down there and do well, and they've got to prove that uh, you know that they're fit and all that. But football's a funny thing. You never say never. And I brought um, Sean Ryan as defensive cover. He had a good game against Walton. He'll play on Tuesday night, and um, I put the pressure. So I believe that with Jab put pressure on the front too. I believe with Dan Sweeney, who's an excellent young player, um, ready to get back in, put in the middle too. I think Dee's going to put the pressure on the wide ones, and also I thought I need a defender in there to put pressure on um, the back line, and that's what we as I'll do as well. So I, I'm very pleased with the squad we got for pressure on places, and some people will play Tuesday night to put that pressure on, you know. Uh, it's mid-November, and uh, although other other teams have had cup runs and so have games in hand, uh, Kays are sitting top of the league. Right. Obviously, you're going to be very happy with that. Um, but what have you got to do to kind of manage expectations and and not, uh, not get carried away? It's not expectations because some people I'm jealous of it here because they've got a trophy and we're not in a trophy. No, I know the heart of hearts. You can't do both. You can't have a good effort. You could put this money and things like that. You lose out on. So all we got to do is no expectations because people have got games in hand on us. Was rare. All I can do is go game by game, which we always do, and we'll try to win the game Tuesday night, and we'll try to win it against Lewis next Saturday. So uh, I don't make expectations anything. I don't think anybody expects we're like we're not getting any crowds at home at the minute. So support as I don't think outside the circle, if you like, outside our 280, 300 or whatever, I don't think they expect very much because we've got lost two cup games, so it's a bit of a downer here. So uh, all we can do is keep winning games. Hopefully supporters will come back. Hopefully we'll come to this night next Saturday where there's a comedian night on. Every single player is coming along and me, Martin and Abu and all that are all going. So uh, all we can try to do is win matches. The only way you get supporters back for the turnstiles is win matches. And um, you know We would have lost a bit of hope and we got knocked out of the cup. So all we got to do is... Um, so expectations aren't a problem because we're not getting 350s, 400s, where there's pressure on the crowds aren't very good in the last two games, so hopefully we'll get a bigger one against Lewis and whatever we can do with it, whatever anybody out there can do to make that happen, that'd be much appreciated, you know. All right, great. Well, congratulations today. All right, thank you. Uh, uh, see you next week. Yeah, lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one. Thank you. Sir.